Hi, in this lecture, we will talk about static entity. So, so far we have seen the normal entity, how we can use, how we can perform action on that. We have one more type of entity that is static. If we have to deal with static data, then we can use that. Um, if we compare with the high level uh, development language like java.net, we get enumeration there. If you have heard about enumeration, enumeration are the static values, the static field which can which we can use inside our logic. For example, let's let's understand this by an example. In this user information, we want all we want to also store gender of the user, male or female. So what are the way available? We can add one attribute gender, right? gender and we can define the data type as text and we can store male or female as a static value right but suppose after some time we want to add one more gender or we want to just change the spelling right instead of male female we want to just um, call m or f right then what about the so what we can do we can just go back and so we will require to change the code wherever we are hard coding we will require to now hard code m and f as well as we will require to change in the data as well existing data because as did existing data contains male and female so that is not a correct practice right and that, that is not a good way to achieve that so for that type of operation we have a static entity what we can do we can define a static entity by just right click to the database and add a static entity just give it the name gender and uh, uh, and uh, we can just ask, uh, add records so uh, from runtime we cannot add any record in the static entity it can be defined only at the design time this is the design time we are designing that entity right so right click and add new record my record will be male and add click add and add a new record that will be female now uh, these are the records and these are the attributes so we have id attribute label order and is active id in says id of the attribute id of male id of female whatever record we have record in the sense two rows and the label whatever will be shown uh, whenever we will use so, so mail will be shown wherever we will use in the application order means uh, sorting order default sorting order, order and is active is is active uh, so if in future we require to change something in, in the wherever we will use in other entities we will store the gender id it will be one two three four right and uh, if we have to change the male and female we will just change the uh, identifier and label so automatically it will reflect everywhere we in this case we don't require to change the code and we don't require to change the hard coded values right so this is the general use case of uh, uh, static entity for example if we have to store statuses new in progress cancelled completed produced right or we have to store the color name red blue green yellow right so that are the basic use case of static entity now let's add uh, one more attribute here that will be gender id right we, we also want to maintain the gender as well right gender id okay automatically it has taken the gender identifier if it is not taking for you you can just go here come here and change it to gender id like this okay so i have my gender id available just move it here here now what i will do i will let me refresh first publish first so i can just show you what data we have available in the gender entity and in what way it is available so let's wait for one more minute if you have any question meanwhile i can just appeal you you can anytime ask uh, I'm always available for my students. So it has published. So let me just right click and view data. We cannot edit data. 
in the in the static entity so we have two records id is two id is one this is the label this is the order this is the is active that's it so now what i want while adding here this is my addition right i also want to select give a selection of gender so uh, that will be a list so in this way we will also learn the drop down because we will gain the give in the drop down we can also give the um, radio button but let's do it in drop down so first i will require to fetch the gender list so in the same way we can fetch from database so just what i have done just right click and fetch data from database and now i am giving the gender entity so now i have genders available here i want to show this gender so what i will do i will click here i will go to widget tree i will just open this form and here after this i will just right click add new drop down i will just move the drop down to inclusion container and i will just give three width three column so let me just make it three column so that it will be uniform and just move above the button that's it and uh, my button buttons uh, margin is no more valid and required but i want a left margin so i can just give the auto that's it it looks good now we are getting error so let's see what error we are getting because we will require to give the variable right so what will the variable for gender id we have that variable available here gender id we have added new attribute right so auto, after refresh automatically it has come here so this will our variable so just click here variable will be this 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 and gender id and what will be the list list is my gender list so um when i use drop down i provide list that will the drop down will contain and the variable after selecting anything any option in which variable we need to bind the uh, value and the text will be text whichever is shown to user and value after selecting the text what will be the value that will be assigned to the variable mandatory true we want it enable is true obviously empty text so if some nothing is there then we can just give a check select gender this is the empty text that's it let me publish so no nothing we will require one more thing here as well i want to show the gender right so i have my gender available everywhere now right because i have added that that inside the um entity although we don't have value associated to existing data but not an issue so what i will do i will add here the gender so just click somewhere go to widget 3 under the table add a column column will be just right to the column insert widget text and here it will be gender and uh, just move after the edge age sorry and here we will require the gender so right click insert expression and move after the age yeah now what will be inside the uh, expression so inside the expression this is my gender id so this is my id i don't want id i want gender name right or gender label let me just show you id first and we'll see how we can get the gender um, label as well just wait until it publish okay then i have already clicked to the okay let me log in so you see we have gender let me show you the existing data currently there is no id available that's why it is zero let me change for this lakshman mail save data it is showing one i don't want to show one i want to show male or female so how we can do 
in this case we will require a join so if we will add the gender id um, so if you will have a gender id available with the user information then you will just drag and drop so it will come gen it will just um, um it will automatically drag and drop the gender entity as well but before that we didn't have gender id right? before creating this aggregate that's why uh, you don't see here but if you want to add we can just add another source that will be gender automatically it has applied the um joins so uh, join with the user information to gender with or without we will talk about that later what is without without what is with what is with only it is related to left join inner join and full outer join so we will talk about that uh, in in future lecture so i will have some advanced lecture around this so there you will get a better understanding and join condition is user information dot gender id is equal to gender id that's it now come here and uh, come to the screen and uh, here instead of gender id we can just give gender label yeah so associated to the gender id it will fetch all the data of gender or associated data of gender associated object of the gender entity simply if i simply say so that's it and uh, let's have a look how it looks like so that's it let me just show you perfect male and we cannot see anything because with the id zero we don't have any any gender available that's why so if i just go here i set female it is female that's it this was the just the use of static entity how we can use static entity we use um we use very frequently and uh, um it is uh, it is always better to use static entity whenever we uh, deal with static data so that's it for this lecture thank you